Hi, my name is Keith Cooper and in this video I'm going to have a quick look at a problem that I know quite a lot of people have had in setting up printers, Canon and Epson printers on Macs. This is a Mac specific thing. It's all to do with the AirPrint printing and accidentally selecting the AirPrint driver. Now, AirPrint itself is a great system. Uh, the idea behind it is really quite good. It makes it easy for people to connect to printers and easy for people to use printers. The problem is that's great for phones, that's great for iPads, but when it comes to using functionality of printers, whether they're small ones like this Epson ET2850, or larger printers like Canon Pro 200, Pro 300, Pro 1000, if you accidentally select the AirPrint driver during installation, you'll suddenly find that most of the driver options you're expecting aren't there. It makes color management very difficult, for example. You can't turn off color management. It makes it working with profiles. It makes it very difficult. And the usual symptom people notice is that the printer just doesn't work the way they want it to. All of there are features missing. Now, it turns out that it's almost always because you've installed the AirPrint version of the driver by mistake. Now, I've got two Macs here. This one's an oldish Mac. Uh, this is my MacBook Pro. So this is running uh, Mac OS 10, 10.13 uh, in this instance, but it's the same for others. Uh, this iMac has Mac OS 13 or Ventura, I believe it's called. Um, I, I've been using Macs for years, so I never bother with the Californian tourist board names that Apple comes up with. Uh, yeah, this is 13, this is 10.13. I've got 10.15 on the one over there, but this is the latest system. Now, if I try and install a system on here, um, it's actually quite good. It doesn't automatically seem to choose the AirPrint uh, version. So what I would say, if you're installing a driver, you've got this problem, get rid of the printer that is there. Now, what do I mean get rid of the printer? Each of the printers that appear in the list here is an instance of the printer driver. It's a printer queue, so it's, it's a way of dealing with it. You can have multiple queues for the same printer. It doesn't cause a problem. Now, this one here, um, if I want to add a printer, I can just click on Add Printer. It'll find you know, printers and it'll let me install them. That seems to work okay on that. But the key is when you go back to the printer, if you're unsure of this, you can delete these easily enough. And when you go back, get the software from Apple, from Apple, from Epson or from Canon for the printer driver, for the printer that you want. Get the latest version. You may find that um, with uh, Mac OS 13 here, the version only goes up to 12. Well, it's quite likely that it will support 13 as well. But um, these things take a while to be updated sometimes. But with 13 here, go through it, look at the instructions carefully. It shows you examples and it will say connect and it will take you through. Um, I haven't been able to accidentally set up an air print driver here on this. It looks as if things have been sorted a bit, but I'm willing to be proved wrong on that. However, the air print problem exists for Canon printers, Epson printers on other Mac systems. And as I say, where you'll notice it, if you go to the uh, system preferences and click on printers and scanners, it will give you a list of all the printers that you've got installed. Now, because of all the testing I've got, I've got a huge, great long list of printers here. Most of them aren't here anymore, but I just leave this set up in here. This is used for testing. If I look at this dialog here, I'll see that it says location, if I've set a location, but under kind, it says Epson ET2850 series air print. Now, the fact that the word air print appears here means if I choose this driver, um, I will have limited print functionality from what I'm expecting. Certainly if I'm printing from Lightroom, Photoshop, anything else like that, I'm suddenly going to find that trying to print via air print, um, it ain't going to work very well. So I don't want that air print driver. So I can easily get rid of it. Uh, there's a little minus here. I can just click on that. Do I want to delete it? And we've deleted it. Now, I could go back, I could download the original software, run through the setup again, look at the instructions of the setup. Now, I hate saying this, but read it carefully. Um, I accidentally set things because I thought I knew what I was doing. Different printers are subtly different, so go through and do it carefully. Now, if you follow that through, there's a specific warning about ignore it, not accidentally setting air print. That's good. But what about if you've got a surface and 
you can see that the printer already appears. It, you know, you didn't think, well, I've got the printer here. I want to set it, set it up. So let's just go for the simple, the plus sign here, add printer or scanner. Now the little drop down here helpfully says nearby printers, Canon MG3600, that's the one upstairs, so it's on Karen's desk, Epson ET2850 series. Now it's being helpful, so why not just click on 2850 because that's what I want to set up. That will set you up the air print version if you're not careful and you will get a version of here that says that. So rather than click on it being helpful and telling your printer, go to the first item in the list here that says add printer or scanner. Now it will now go up and it's gone. Look, it's looked around the network here and it's found this is what printers it has. It's found the Canon one. It's found two versions of the Canon one. That's because of the way the network's done. Likewise, it's found two versions of this. One is Bonjour uh, Multifunction and the other one is ET2850 series brackets IP. IP that's the, just the protocol for connecting with it. You can actually select either of these. So if I select in this instance here, let's just go for the 2850. I've just gone for the basic 2850 here and it says name 2850, which is what I want. And it'll say it'd be similar if I set up Pro 200, Pro 300, Canon printers as well. Here it says 2850, ah, that's good. But here's the bet. It says at the bottom, use secure air print. And I absolutely do not want to use secure air print because I've just got rid of air print settings that I've accidentally set up before. So it's easy to accidentally set them up on that. Less so on the 13 here. Don't know about 11 and 12, don't have machines that run those, but people are still reporting having problems. So I'll set that, I'll pick up the 2850, but the bottom item here that says air print, if I click on that, there is actually a list I get offered, secure air print, air print, and Epson 2850 series. Now this would be the Canon printer, the Pro 200, 300, whatever, if you're doing that. i go down to that one. So it now says name, printer there, use Epson series, and I will just go to add there, and it's setting it up, and it's added a printer. And there is the printer, and it says kind, ET 2850 series, no air print after it. Now, that's a little bit involved. I'll cut in a few, uh, you know, a few screenshots and things into this to try and make it a bit clearer. But the gist of it is one, read the instructions carefully when you install the latest software from Canon or Epson. Um, certainly when I looked at the Epson driver for the Epson install for, um, for this, they had actually gone to quite some length to show you what it looks like and where, what you should do for this. If you see AirPrint here, if you've accidentally installed it or somebody else has accidentally installed it, delete the printer, add a new printer. Don't go for the first one, it knows, go to actually select a list, find it, and you'll find that you'll get a version that doesn't say AirPrint. So there we go. I'm happy with all the printing set up here as long as I don't see the dreaded air print word at the end of my printer name or the kind here. That's what causes the problem. Now, hopefully over time, Apple and the, yeah, the printer makers, the drive, yeah, people who write the driver software and that can sort of get this working a bit more smoothly. But it is possible. This causes people problems. Um, I mention it every time I do a review and I've got stuff about the setup. So if you've got a specific printer and I've done a printer a review of it, you will see I mentioned the air print problem and what to look out for. But this is just in case you were hunting around, you've been told you've got an air print problem with your Mac computer driver and um, basically get rid of it and install the proper one instead. Now, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask. Um, it's, it's a tricky thing to show on here. I say, obviously I'm gonna show bits of screenshots and things, but I'm trying to get over the general idea is that as long as the word air print doesn't appear, you're probably gonna be okay. Of course, you still need to set your printers up. You need to get your color management right. You need to get your pictures okay and all other stuff like that. But you don't need the extra hassle of trying to negotiate with air print. Um, it's also why anyone who says, I want to print great prints, my phone or iPad, uh, 
it, I'm going to first say, well, first of all, you don't print from your phone or iPad. Uh, not unless you're just after quick snaps. If you want good quality prints, sorry, they come from what I would call a real computer. Uh, but there you go. Hope that's been of use. Uh, as I say, let me know if there's any problems or any of you get any, any questions. And uh, thanks for watching.